actually, while we're talking about how well Black Myth Wukong is doing, which, by the way, is now 2.2,415,000, so up even higher now. As of eight minutes ago, uh, we crash back down into the cesspit with the wokest game ever, Dustboard. Remember, we brought this up uh, last week in an episode. And, um, yeah, 83 is the uh, all-time concurrent peak. It actually was only 18 hours ago, so that means two extra people bought the game. I don't want to hear you shitting on this. There are tens of people that are enjoying this. (laughs) Yeah, tens, exactly. Could even say dozens but uh, not a complete set. Um, Yeah, I mean, obviously this game, do you know anything about this game, Grant? I saw a bit of the the trailer and I'm like, okay, so it kind of looks like they're doing for like a Borderlands Telltale style sort of thing. That's what I said too, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, but like, I mean, even the second, even the second Tales from the Borderlands couldn't, couldn't live up to it. Yeah, it's a ragtag bunch of group of people getting together and, and trying to accomplish stuff and nothing happens. So effectively, it's set in um, an alternate reality America, I, I, maybe slightly in the future, because they have robots flying around and stuff. So um, clearly, after a certain event, probably the Trump <laughs> presidency, Elon Musk takes over America. That explains. So basically, it's the it's robot. it's no longer the United States; it's the divided states. And you have to travel across it on this gay little bus with these gay little people and their gay little band. And uh, this chick here, I think, is the one you play as predominantly. Uh, She can use words as weapons. Mm -hmm. That's right. Words are literally violence in this game. I wonder. wonder... Well, that too. Yeah. It charges up like a vibrator. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a real mess of a game. Um, I'm not watching the trailer again. It looks no. absolutely tragic. Um, Imagine if this game didn't get any publicity from content creators. Would more or less people play it? I mean, this game is yeah. a massive... This is a massive um, reveal of why we have to deal with these fucking activists in all the things we love. Star Wars, Doctor Who, Star Trek, you know, everything. Because if they didn't invade our successful properties, they would release their own, uh, which would inevitably crash and burn because literally nobody wants anything to do with this piece of shit. InfoWars um, made a game that got more people watching, not watching it, playing it, sorry, than this disaster. I dare say if Hypno made a Saturday night hypnosis fighting game in which all of our characters were were licensed out as fighters with our own special abilities. I mean, Atreus would just say, you know, play the sound, play the sound, and then your ears would bleed out. That too. It would Mm. probably get more people playing it because Hypno's got a solid community as well as all the fine folks on Saturday night hypnosis. If they can make a game like Dustborn, which barely anyone is playing, then the the 72 or 83 people who are playing this game would literally buy shit. Literally. Yeah. yeah. How much is this game? Uh, $29.99. Fucking yeah, 30, hell, these people have more money Australian than Sam. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty abysmal. Um, it's actually Man. more in the UK. It comes out at like £25, which is $32. In fact, uh, actually, I think uh, one of these, uh, I don't know, uh, I've lost it. I had it the other day. There was a section where you could look at the price in various countries. I was doing my research. Yeah, it's and not, just browsing it's, it's not even, it hasn't even got the India discount because a lot of times I've heard I don't actually do it <clears> at all, not once. Um, but I, 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 a friend of mine uses a VPN when he's buying his Steam games because certain countries have exclusive discounts. Yeah. India and Turkey, especially. Oh, uh, time. It's cheaper in the Philippines. I yeah. could get it. Yeah, I, I lived in the Philippines once, so I can legally do that. I mean, my friend does. <laughs> Name Will. Different uh, we're fucked, though. This whole thing is fucked. Um, I mean, <laughs> this game, it's, it's, a, it's beyond a joke, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> less than 100 people. And, and like I said earlier on, if you were to add up 
the all-time peak and the players right now, as if to say that all of the people at the last registered peak have given up and 33 new people have started from scratch. And that's still only 116 people. <laughs> Fucking abysmal. The, the, plus, this... the plus side about the people that are playing it, they can say they're in the top 100 best players of this game. <laughs> yeah, they sure can. Yeah, that's true. That's not wrong. And uh, it's on DEI Detected, of course, Cabrutus's site. Uh, where he's, you know, catalogued all the crap in it. It's the it's DEI The Game. It has everything you could hope for from a DEI game. Forced diversity, virtue signaling, self-insertions, woke political agenda being forced down the player's throat, a bunch of alphabet people and they thems. Um, I'm pretty sure didn't, he took that didn't quote didn't from... Didn't notice anyone in a wheelchair, though, so I'm a little disappointed in that. Could you oh. scroll back up just a little bit, Will, just a little bit more... Up a little bit. That woman to the right uh, looks like Melee K. I don't know if you guys <laughs> exactly know now, yeah. Melee J and, and Melee K, <laughs> but that woman looks like Melee K. So is she is she a leftist spy, folks? Or do all <laughs> Indians look alike? Um, I don't know. Does she have a mustache? Yes, and a nose ring. Mm. Well, no, I guess what, maybe. The, the, the one thing I'd find interesting with Dustborn is not the gameplay or any of the aesthetics, but the engine and how they built this game. Well, it's because clearly that... been in development for a long time, and it's Quantic Dream, so I wouldn't expect much cutting-edge tech. Oh, really? Well, it's God, Red, Red Dream Dream Games, is... published like, by I, I, Quantic Dream. Say what you want about Quantic Dream, but they definitely have some immersive games. Oh, yeah. I mean, I really dug uh, Heavy Rain when it first came out. It's yeah. just it that great. the... It's just that the engine and what they're using as the building blocks of this game could be used as a solid foundation to make far better games by content creators, for example. Get rid of these awful characters and, and put in, you know, some some solid characters. I mean, imagine Will and me and Atreus and Hypno and Dragon and Coach and... Smash JT, go on a road trip. That would that would actually be fun though, because we'd mm. be roasting the shit out of each other, and mm. you know the whole way there, we probably have like Leon hanging out the back by like a rope or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you would do it, but um, yeah, this is cringe. This is awful shit. And uh, apparently, um, I'm not the only one who has suggested uh, that it might be worth playing just to just for content's no, sake, because no. apparently Smash JT also uh, is fairly interested in that. So uh, we're kind of trying to work out if either of us have enough time and can be bothered to team up and do a stream of this game. Shame. Today, it'll, it'll probably be Shame. a lot of fun. <laughs> Shame. I don't have a bell, so I'm using a water can. I would find Shame. this very funny to play, I reckon. I, I don't know. Either that or it would make me want to open a vein. Is that I, a man? One of the two. Um, I've been trying to work that out because the face um, has. She, some... She's from um the Expanse TV series. Oh really? Oh. That's a shame. So that wasn't the Algerian boxer. No, it looks. Funny, <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, I don't. I think it is kind of funny that the giant hoop earrings and the one-sided freaking um. I don't know what kind of haircut you call that is Killmonger. literally the same as well. Yeah, but it's not a, it's not a dude, is it? So it's, I don't know what it's called on a woman. Someone said Denise Rodman, Adam Jim had said, uh, but yeah, yeah but if Dennis you notice, Rodman. the character has exactly the same shit going on with the giant fucking hoop earrings, like Mercante and, you know, just like every slag in the world, basically. And uh, so there you go. Uh, the game is not doing very well with gamers. It's doing very well. With critics, uh, there are 19 critic reviews listed on Metacritic right now. You've got uh, uh, Game Pressure gave it an 85. Who gave um, it the one negative review? Oh, we'll get there. RPG fan gave it 82, um, which is a shame because I really used to like that website when I was in my teens. The Game Reactor UK gave it 80. WCCF Tech gave it 80. The Games Machine 80. 80 from Shack News. CG, uh, CG Magazine, 75. Multiplayer.it, 75. Spazio Games. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Games Radar, then. Okay, so you get to the more, the more we have a business to run kind of 
companies that aren't just shilling for it. 70 from Games Radar, 70 from Gaming Bolt, 68 from every eye.it. Never heard of that. But why though? Gave it a 65. Well, if they give it a 65, it's probably a two at best. The Guardian. They, yeah. They the the Guardian. Guardian gave it a Repent. six, a 60. That, I mean, oh God. It must really be bad if the Guardian could only manage a 60, like you were saying, Grant. <laughs> What's next? CNN gives it a five? Something like that, yeah. Jinx or Ginx TV gave it a 60. Gaming Trend, 55. GameSpot, 50. I mean, that's interesting. Uh, game uh, IGN gave it more than that. Uh, game Skinny gave it a 50. And lastly, Game Ren. I know, right? I couldn't believe wow, it. Wow, they exist. The game, rant. game Rant. It's Screen Rant, but for games. They don't really do it. But, it, but I don't know don't... what purpose it serves because they Whoa. talk about games. They don't on give screen negative rant. reviews. They, they're, like, they're like major access media. Hmm. Yeah. Well, they're pretty based in this. Um, I mean, comparatively based. Uh, they say the oh. dialogue is awful, which apparently hmm. is a common thing. Hmm. Uh, it has no depth in the combat. And uh, two stars out of five. So actually, it's not. In fact, oh no, it is it's a forty? Yeah, it's a forty. Um, so su surprising, yeah, because of course it's the same company as Screen Rant, who are not the worst, but among the uh, yeah, they're one of the worst the shills. They're one of them. I mean, they are been... the ones who wrote hmm. that god awful Black Myth Wukong review that cited <laughs> a lack of diversity and inclusion as a negative point. I mean, it would have been Chinese so, game. <laughs> would have been so funny if there was like a, a screen rant review that gave this eighty, and then a game rant review that gave it forty. Uh, in in that uh, respect, but this game is clearly dead on arrival. If I just wrote a review off the cuff for you all to enjoy, I'd write this: less than a hundred people have played this game on Steam during its peak. Zero point one out of ten. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, and uh, then you've got uh, user scores. Um, 43 of them at the moment, giving it a one uh, overwhelming dislike. Bad game tries to shine with inclusive story and characters. It's xenophobic, hateful, and boring. Gameplay is non-existent. A full-on example of the sort of woke rubbish that is plaguing modern gaming. Make no mistake, though, that this garbage is polluting other games. It's, not, it's just not as all is as this bin fire it's not as all in right no hyphen as this bin fire ip should serve as a wake-up call for developers terrible by every metric made by terminally online obese lad whales with danger hair <laughs> <laughs> i don't know who e nut butter is but uh well done uh woke garbage pathetic character design and this is actually considerably more than um there were a few hours ago so i think we might be witnessing i didn't realize you could bombing. give zeros Apparently you can. Bad game ever. It doesn't make any sense. Ellipsis, ellipsis, ellipsis. Razael94 says, One hour of game was enough for me. Ask for a refund. Trying to play open-minded, but this game is boring and lacking of interest. $40, no thanks. Game is terrible. The game story is bleep. All you do is play as either a fat, ugly Karen, a trans, or a gay, or a bleep. Wow. What did they bleep? Uh, We've already cunt. called so a fat, ugly cat. Thank you, demonetization. <laughs> you you asked a question. I gave you an answer. You're supposed to speculate. The story just tries to push their woke agenda on you. The game is so cringe. Don't waste your money on this. Be warned. Terrible spelling, but good points. Um, there's officially more black female protagonists in video games this year than there are actual black female gamers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for more sassy girl boss dialogue while fighting the white supremacist patriotic patriarchy. That's totally what gamers want. And on and on and on. Oh, no, it's absolutely terrible. Don't waste any money on this political piece. This is a disgusting game filled with propaganda. It's made for the woke crowd and social justice warriors. This game further divides people. Instead of uniting us, it is also not fun to play. You might as well just burn your money instead of buying this. Bear, uh, yeah, video should be fun and whatever they're saying. So, um, I don't know. Smash JT, if you are lurking, as you said you might be, um, we may want to reconsider this before we torture ourselves. <laughs> We'll see, I guess. See what he says. Right with the